Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more of the Nunyoung American Qualifier Final Action. It's Digital Chaos versus Shazam in a best of five. Digital Chaos five now are up remaining. in one game. They won game number one. It was pretty clear cut. A good sweep from, uh, you know, start Radiant to finish. Shazam tried to hold on all the way down to Mega Creeps, but couldn't make it work in the very final hurrah. And now we're into game number two, and... Well, I'm Kyle Guy from Beyond the Summit. I'm going to be joined again by uh, the inventor of NA Dota himself, Grant Grant. Grant, here we go. Game two now. Shazam, what do you want to see from them to shake things up and get this series back even one-to-one? -one? Five seconds remaining. Uh, I think they need they need a little more... I don't know. I don't like the Darkseer. I, I think Brax plays a good Darkseer, but it doesn't give him... I think Darkseer as a hero gives you no tempo. Yeah. And I think a hero like a Beastmaster maybe... Mm. Would be more of the so I think Shazam just is so much on Temple. Like if they have a Beastmaster instead of a Darkseer that game, they could be going for earlier kills while TC farms. But like you said, Darkseer takes a little bit to come online, and it just feels the game was slow for them, uh, yeah. and they were still just losing. Now they have an opportunity to possibly get the Beastmaster unless DC pick it. I didn't even get the statement out before it actually happened, and sure enough, that hero if it gets through the first phase, it's getting snagged up by a team, and I, you know, and I agree with you one thousand percent. Love Brex on Darkseer, but this is not the time to play a Darkseer. It feels like, like you gotta get a do shit hero in mid game. Do shit hero yeah. right when he gets level six. You know, you can't have these long build ups in hopes that you can hold Five things out for a TC remaining. to be the one man to to, you know, bring it home. It worked against FDL, but maybe against DC, you gotta change it up. Yeah, and I think I like I already like what DC did here. I think Shazam was once again hoping Digital Chaos was gonna, they were gonna pick the Fury on. Cause Brax yeah. is actually one of the few offlaners. I, I know he can play the hero, but he doesn't look like a, say, a, a Moon, a Moo. Yeah. Like one of those people that like plays it insanely well. Like man, he's TPing all over the map. He's getting everything. And I think uh, DC yeah, called their bluff on that. And they, they get a Beastmaster and Shazam doesn't really get like, besides Doom, that other second pick hero, so. I already like DC. Misery, wonder, just uh, his wits. I wonder if DC has ever ran both of those heroes. Could they still get an NP and maybe do the like Beastmaster 4 seconds, position? Maybe. I don't know. Sakura's. I've seen it. Not from them, I don't think. Okay. But I, I've seen it. It's I happened plenty. Seen, you know, yeah, it, in it C, has, in exactly. China, and now we saw it yesterday a little bit. The, the hero just farms so damn good with that piercing damage on those boars in the jungle that, you, you know, if you got the opportunity, you might as well go for it. But we'll have to see if DC can... You know, maybe they're thinking about it right now, you know, starting to go through uh, their, their secondary timer here. It's like, can we afford to do a more greedier style lineup and just put this more onto Misery? I mean, Misery still did wonderful work in his line in the last game. He found great pickoffs. He held his own the lane. He got picked off a couple of times, but it was always like tanking the gank. But we'll see. Oh, for now, they go wow. for the Invoker for the uh, Weehaw Invoker mid lane. I, I Resolution, I thought, plays like some of the best Invoker in the game, but, you know, Weehaw also plays it pretty good, too. Yeah, they have. They can switch up, and I like how that. See, this time they pick Invoker third, which means there's no way for Shazam to react Ten with the PL. And I mean, I assume DC will ban the the PL here pretty hundred percent. Five seconds. And that, that's how you have to do it. You pick the Invoker. You yeah. can't let them get like the the. Um, we saw him. Did you in lane? We we just He's watched him. He just got MSS got destroyed, and it wasn't because of their skill level. Dyer it's because that hero just back. gets destroyed by the other hero. Yeah, and uh, I think. You're right, they played this so well. They, If they want to pick up the Nature's Prophet, you know, they can take their time in doing so. And uh, just going for the Invoker now and uh, banning something like the PL leaves him in a lane where he's going to do very well. So if you can't go for the PL, uh, where do you go from there if you're Shazam? And do you think remaining. you need to secure it uh, in this next pick? Uh, maybe. Maybe you go for the SCA pick and go for the Juggernaut. I, I doubt America has much running the Juggernaut versus the Invoker. Even it is a winning matchup, but I, I'm not sure. You might just go for... There's still an IO Tiny, but I guess it would have to be Mad playing the IO, and I know he does, but I know he's still in Europe, and I, I don't think Shazam yeah, runs IO Tiny or IO CK. I really don't. And IO is such a PO. precious Radiant thing, and it, it, for someone who have just joined amongst the chemistry of this team, and and you said with ping issues, when you need to have a hero next to another hero at all times and making quick decisions, uh, I don't know if a, a wisp will be in the future for Shazam, but could have been you know a good game remain. changer, something they might need to go for against a team like DC right now. Five and there it is, you know, as predicted, uh, the PL ban. Going to be taken off the field. Shazam had enough of the Soxa Phoenix, Reserve so they time. will remove that. And then look at this. They also decide to take Dyer out the uh, the Lycan here. 
If they just don't want to get. I mean, an Invoker, Beastmaster, Lycan. If you if you lose like one hero after the ten minute mark, you just lose your entire base. That's pretty much what happened with if they got a Lycan there. Serious must summons. You have the Inner Beast from Beastmaster, Lacrity Wolf. Uh, that would the Necro important. Three when it comes up. Yeah. Three. God damn, that would be a stampede. Yeah, and already, I mean, Beastmaster Invoker alone is, like, it's strong laning, strong pushing, and yeah. Invoker, we've seen, I believe it was Freedom, uh, Maninsky, Frangay, a.k.a. Flea. Francis Lee, his, Flea, yeah. is that the, that's what they're calling his, him now. Yeah, exactly, Flea. His Invoker, like, out-carried a Spectre and a CK one time, like, we, we've seen Invoker can go super late, so, yeah. that is one hell of a hero. No pupils, though. Always, I always mean, wonder where his pupils are. I never gave the hero a shot ever since you had to look in the menu to see his, like, thousands of spells. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, I'd rather just play the game. So I never picked up Invoker. Even to this day, I maybe filled it with him once, but I'm like, it's not for me. Yeah, I, I played like a I played like a cold snap first support invoker for like Korok or something. That was about it. I, I hate her too. I still remember though. Yeah. People think invokers like new players think invokers confusing then. Back then, Q it was a hundred. How many more spells were there? Like a hundred. It was some crazy. Was like a hundred or a million something yeah, like that. Million point one. I don't know. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the, the my learning curve. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't about that. I was about playing games. <laughs> yeah, you you were about. I was about playing Gambler and just clicking on here and kill <laughs> yes. somebody. Yeah, absolutely. We don't need <laughs> that, that was Dota. Yeah. Uh, but they banned the Dark Seer, so apparently DC doesn't want to play into the Dark Seer this time. Yeah. Little surprise. But you never know what's going on in a team's mind. They could. It seems weird for casters. You know, pick time feels like forever. For a team, like they, they just discuss something for two minutes, like one little thing. They're like, "Oh my goodness, our reserve time's almost gone." It's yeah, it's crazy what happens when you're actually in the game. Yeah, I can believe I that for sure. So unfortunately, oh. we never get to be a, the fly on the wall on that one. Team. And uh, no. well, we might get to see Brax. Maybe they're just like, you know what, we got to play it because it still yep. would have been a really nice pickup for DC if they wanted to be greedy with that Beastmaster. Maybe they're just like, we got to take it for ourselves. Oh, I want to say, I, I doubt this will happen, but it could be a mid-nature's prophet we saw snaking play, not for Dragneal, his last team, and I think we've actually seen Slayer from enemy GG play nature's prophet middle, and I don't think he does that bad versus Invoker, but I, I mean, I doubt it. It's just a little thing that could happen. MSS plays Nature's Prophet. I've seen yeah, he couldn't. Before. He could do a middle, yeah. So it's it's not completely out of the question, especially when Nature's Prophet doesn't have that bad of a, lo like a losing factor against Invoker. Yeah. But if you get stunned by... Like, if DC just picks Avenge here, <laughs> your Nature's Prophet's pretty much useless middle, so... It's tough, though. I yeah. mean, a Weeha versus MSS mid lane matchup. I like both these guys as mid laners, uh... I don't know if you want to take the risk of going with a, a matchup that you lose on paper and hope it works out too, but yeah, it, it's hard, I, and I'm sure that's why they're taking so much time to just think Winter about it as, and play out all the situations here. So I, I will be very curious to see what they decide to do with it. Wyvern, though, does uh, show itself here for DC. You know, a hero capable of being able to provide sustain for the team during these, you know, hectic tier one to tier two pushes, and being able to keep them alive. Great spam of creep waves with the splinter remain. shot, and his ult, if done right, you know, could just instantly Five delete a hero from a, from a fight. Yeah, especially uh, it kind of makes Shazam like, oh, I don't think we want to pick Sven here. You just ult to support, or even a even a middle hero against the Sven, and Sven just kills his own teammate that quick. I like the Winter Wyvern who was banned out in the second phase last game, so Shazam knew something about it, and DC this time scoops it up, and he's one of the best level 1, like, harass heroes, too, with that Q. Arctic Burn, I think, it is insane. There we go, so, so that's MS, I believe that's, that's an MSS Timmerson. that's also a deny pick. I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm surprised DC, well, they have Invoker Beastmaster, but MSS Timmerson is what we're looking at, I think. Yeah. Well, what about that matchup? I mean, is his armor and his durability with his passive good enough to withstand Invoker in the mid lane a bit? I think at like level three ish, level yeah. two armor it is. Level one and two could be a little bit rough, especially Winter Wyvern might be camping you middle. But I, I, I think Timbersaw doesn't really win many matchups middle besides DK, but he doesn't lose them that hard. So. Yeah. It's not bad. So I wonder... So we still don't know yet where this Beastmaster is going to go. It seems likely that it might just end up in the offlane now for Mu if they were initially planning to grab something like the Timber Saw or something else. But now they might need to consider... Because this is now going to be an obvious core, you know, 
timber saw, getting some in the silence department here. Uh, they might reserve it for their last pick, Radiant but in the meantime, you know, it worked for them in the first game. Resolution was, you know, pretty much the the true huge heavy hitter and farmer of the game from pretty much the halfway point to the end, and uh, it looks like they're going to try to go for it again here. Yeah, that's fine. Days have so much team fight again. Invoker, Gyro Beast, all good, like, pretty much all good early, mid, and late game. It seems to be those Five heroes are, are what's coming back in. I mean, same with Doom, same with Timbersaw. And, yeah, there's the Venge, man. I, yeah, you just got to bend Venge. If Venge is on DC, they have so much map control with Hawk, plus uh, roaming around Winter Wyvern and Venge. I mean, this is a big deal, too, because you didn't, you didn't realize it until the band came out, but... Jason gets to play something else besides Venge. So. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. I'm like, good for him. Good maybe, for him. Maybe we'll see. What if he just goes, he godlike. could just go ham sauce maybe on him. he just goes godlike. He's like, see, this is what happens when I don't play Venge. He, like, freaks out. And then next game they first pick him Venge, and uh, he just gets, and he just goes quiet. And then he throws, and the game's over. God, that would just be the storyline of the century. We'll see, but. What I'm, I'm thinking of Shazam here might want a, I'm actually thinking about a Chaos Knight now that Spectre's banned. This is a, a pretty good Chaos Knight game for Shazam. I don't know what DC know. wants. They want to support. What about that Wyvern likely. ulti? I, f I feel with fear That's for good, the yeah. Wyvern oh, ulti and using all those CK Knights to just beat his own ass down. Could be That's trouble. True. I think I if, if you're ever getting like... Yeah. No oh, pain. Okay, so the, really? man, they have so much shut down the middle. Invoker's not gonna lose mid. Then you have a Winter Wyvern Arctic Burning mid. Bane could just run in, peer damage you, trade with you. They are really shutting down this mid the last couple games. Not going to be good for MSS. He's typically one of their, you know, big star players to be able to pull it out and set the momentum for the game. And we saw remaining. him nerf down a bit in game number one on his Invoker. Now possibly doing the, you know, crowd-pleasing Timbersaw. We'll see what he does there. But for Shazam, we need to get that what could be either off lane or position for... No, core. Yeah, I think they need a they need a carry here. I believe. Yeah, the Doom is probably going to just end up being in that four. Position four, yeah. And they're going to yeah need someone for the late game. Five need that TC hero remaining. who can fight up with the gyrocopter here. No, well, uh, I don't know that uh, DC's draft's just so good. You can't really put any carry hero into like Shazam's line and be like, oh, that's a super good pick. I, I think Slark is better than CK now that I look at it. He can roam around a little bit, but I mean, roar. Feed yeah. script. You yeah. you have a lot of stuff to after dark pack to handle him, and it, it's gonna be, have to be perfectly planned by TC. And we've seen him do it before, so definitely not out of question. We'll have to see if he can get to that point, and hopefully their team will overall just have the momentum where he'll have enough space to farm up. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna want to or be able to play more of a greedy or slark kind of a game and get your Midas, and uh, or if DC are gonna be looking to fight. Uh, sooner than later you have that capability with a gyrocopter and an invoker remaining. on your team uh moo on the beast master it, you know it's five not going to be the remaining. super greedy jungle beast master who can get that level six within five minutes or whatever and then just put each primal roar to work every time it's off cooldown so i don't know it's gonna be a it's gonna be a barn burner grant and i'm real excited about Prepare it game yeah, number two of our grand real final slobber knocker and mss has the poor man's shield already so it's i mean Melee heroes versus Invoker. It's funny how they just... I don't know. I need to figure out why. They just do better versus Invoker than range heroes for some strange reason. And especially when you have a poor man's shield. And you, he, already, he already skilled reactive armor. He's like, I don't care. We could be chasing someone with 100 HP. I could whirling down. I don't care. I'm getting the reactive armor. Yeah. It does kind of raise the flag that we will not be expecting Shazam to go on any sort of early aggressive movement here. But uh, as MSS just prepares to be probably harassed and... and beat to hell in this mid lane by a potential roaming bane and of course that fun little level one arctic burn uh from oh, Soxa. Yeah. i mean that was something that I, we saw like what i think it was like sonico at tfi qualifiers was like one of the first winter wyverns i saw just that was on the mid lane and just like god damn are you for real he's flying over the cliff right to the mid yep. lane there and it's just real problem that was right when sonico was like coming into his thing people were like oh no he's dead and then he he went yeah he was he was fun to watch yeah, unfortunately they didn't make it that far. We'll see if the new invited Navi will be able to do any better here at the next upcoming major. But here, uh, DC, easily securing this top rune the for themselves. Begins. We'll leave MSS with that bottom one. 
Uh, and we'll begin to see. And there's uh, Saxa already rolling through. He has one. Oh, but they, the ward sees him. They they know the ward's there. Yep, that's, that's getting countered. That oh, wait, is it? a free hundred gold if they can to somebody. get detection. We're looking. They'll need detection, though. Yeah, they'll have to buy it. But, I mean, they will. Moo already getting chased down. Run, run, Jason. His poor little stubby legs. No, Jason, we'll get to see him on the lion now as opposed to the bench. Uh -oh, uh oh, sorry. Really big play by the chicken there. He was running it straight back, and they, they just called out. He's like, ah, I'm not letting my chicken die, and runs it to the side, so... That's a long cooldown too, level 1 arctic burn, yeah. so MSS good play. Yep, that will force the wyvern to be in a bit of an awkward state and kind of run around maybe if he could find a stack to make, but in the meantime we'll just have to hey! wait to make a new approach with a new arctic burn, and that means Weeha is not going to get any sort of assistance uh, for the first wave or so. So MSS off to a hot start, 5 and 2 CS, 2 invokers, wow. uh, none. So, Yo, he well, is, he is none. just going, and look at these denies, he's getting every deny too. Dude, MSS is going in right now in this lane. Seven that, that set's actually sick. Usually I'm not one to talk about like cosmetics, but that Timber Sauce said whoever made it, that is, that's this. cool. The disrespect, he's chasing around the tower. He's like, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Reactive oh. armor, he's got whirling death. He's just merry-go-round in him. He looked, oh, the salve will finally come out. Uh, and MSS will have to roll back there, bud. All right. Why? He, oh my, I, that was actually, might have been a kill. Both his whirling deaths actually missed the trees. I think that would have been a kill. He did it just out of range of those trees, but that was still sick. Wow, he is. That is reactive armor for you. Well, should be a, a good boost of confidence here for MSS. We'll see what he can do with it as the lane does progress. But look at Brax. He has stepped away from that off lane again and will be in the jungle, uh, joining Mad for a little bit here. So, you know, you were, you were a bit skeptic or at least, you know, talking about how Brax is not known for his nature's profit. Oh, we'll have to see what he can bring in this game. Oh, bottom yeah, lane, they made a move for Moo, actually. The uh, setup stun from Jason. They get the follow-up. TC pounce. The boar continues to slow down. Jason Moo's like, I will get you! But he will not get him. Neither will the boar. Blood. I've been wanting to that's the start we needed, man. Slark, he, you usually don't see... Well, you see, yes, it's just a level 2, but he got like 7 stacks up there, and that was 15 saints, and that's Jason. Poor Jason. Even when they're getting first bloods, he's just getting picked on. He doesn't die, but... And here we go. Now we get some help for Weeha Middle. He's like, all right, I'm not winning this lane. Toss me some help, someone. That's misery. He'll he'll roll through the teammates there, formerly from Secret. Not committing any spells, though. He's just going to gladly pick up the bounty rune that had been chilling there for just, uh, nearly a yeah. minute. And now he'll take his business all the way through into the bottom lane instead. So here we see bottom lane. TC make a pounce commitment for Moo. But this time Moo has got some help here. And... Uh, We'll see if Misery Ooh, can find a I think Matt is... Sorry, solo. Solo smoked middle. Oh, yes, and here we right. go. The same moment. Matt is looking oh, to make an approach, but he gets, gets pinged spotted. out. Yep, yeah, it's over. Out bottom, though. Misery, he wants Jason. <laughs> looking to move in. And uh, we'll have to settle for sleeping a PC. And now Misery could be in a little bit of trouble. Dark oh, back, geez. sidestep, but boom! Jason eventually gets caught out, stunned up, and hit with the sun strike from Weeha in the mid lane. Yeah, I guess we forgot about that. Bane sleep in the sun. Oh, any time on the map you want. Yep, that is actually pretty filthy when you when you think about it here, and it's probably something Shazam are going to be taking note of. But mid lane, Brax shows up, pop out the trees, and and he can't really participate much else than that. But here comes Misery, can't offer a lot to assist Weeha. Mad will be able to get the kill, and now even Jason, back from the dead, shows up, gets the hex on the Misery, and he's looking for revenge. You put me to sleep, you get a sun strike. I'm going to put you to I'm going to put you to bed. Oh, well, he's, he's dead. Gonna he's <laughs> he's, he's going to go to sleep with him, I guess. Oh, poor Jason, man. He is. But th th that's a huge kill. That's a double kill. That is the Invoker and the Bane going down just for a line. That is not bad. Ooh, but bottom. Oh, he's dead. got him. Wow, nicely done. Weeha gets that Sun Strike Moo on pursuit. And now taking over this lane, it's only about 424 into the game, and he's now level 5. Wonderful off lane for him on this Beastmaster. Yeah, he's having a great time. That is a lot of stuff in Brax. Nice game middle, but he's only level two. Not even two and a half. This is this is already a rough game for Nature's Prophet. He didn't jungle very well. He tried to do the big camps, and you can't really do those depending on what you get as a Nature's Prophet. And now he's just going to try to go top, maybe pull some creeps with his stuff, but yeah, Brax need to find some experience somewhere. Mid lane, MSS does have a bottle of paster, and this could be a kill rune. 
as he's about to get his level 6. So I'm curious to see how he plans on using it here. While well, top lane will have to keep watch, it looks like there goes the splinter shot. Jason trying to run in, gonna get slowed up here from Saxa. Very nicely done from the Wyvern. And Jason will have to retreat. Meanwhile, there was a rotation. Sunstrike. Nice. Jason not going to have it this time. Sidesteps goes for the TP. He's mad, though. Slept up. Sunstrike won't be there, but there will be a call down instead and a mighty rocket barrage coming out from Resolution. Will secure that kill. They're looking for Brax. They got the sap. They got the right click, but here comes MSS with that kill rune. Pops the haste. Rolls up there. And at least we'll get a little bit of redemption for his team, but it is a better trade for DC going two for one. Yeah, it is. Brax stuck around a little bit too long and died to misery, and then MSS comes out of nowhere. And yeah, two for one trades are always going to be better for the, the two team. Well, I guess unless you're like level 25 and they're level one or something. I don't know. Don't see that happen often. Uh oh, Brax is still hanging around. He's still only level two. If Resolution get close enough, in fact, he doesn't even need to. The flak damage does a lot of work. And oh, oh got him. Nicely done. Maybe sleeping on the job there. Brax just kind of beelines it straight back and mid lane. Now the rock comes out from the mini dooms. MSS rolls in with a whirling death. Jason has the stun. Timber Chain is there, but they'll need that right click for MSS to finish the job. And that's a killing spree bounty from all those Sunstrike kills. So MSS actually gets a nice little extra change from that. It doesn't. That's the first time I've actually seen a Doom, like his little golems, actually secure a team of kill. That was, that was nice. Poor TC is getting left alone bottom, though. I think that's the problem. Yeah. Who is the same level as him? And he's getting, I mean, he's still 9 CS down, but as an offlane or a safe lane, like, Slark has nothing right now. He has an Aquila. He can fly out once the chicken's back, but I think they need to help TC a little bit more. Yeah. But, I mean, MSS is doing good, so that's always a plus. I mean, uh, yeah, one of them is going to have to do something, but seeing TC the one who's been short changed is a bit rare, and right now he might get even more short changed. He gets slept up. He gets roared. He does manage to get into the ulti, and will pounce away from trouble. Well, can Misery get close enough for maybe a sap and another axe? I think they can. Dark pack and it's not even necessary. Brax is going to show up with MSS here. And they're looking for some revenge for their fallen comrade. They're looking to go for Misery. Misery pops the wand. Puts to sleep. Goes for the TP. And he does not make it out. He gets sliced up right the last second. And the little Treon, I guess, uh, does the unsleep, which helps out a bit. But he almost makes it away. I yeah, need to see the burst match from Timber. Sorry, there looked like, oh, there's no way Bane's dying. He just gets destroyed by MSS. Just two spells. Now, Weeha, yeah, yeah, Weeha is getting a little bit closer to his Midas, I mean, obviously. Invoker Midas, doesn't matter, Quas, Wax, Exhort, you could go stats only, and you're going to get Midas on that hero. Yeah, he's he's making fair time with it after that pretty rough start right now. How is their CS matching up now? It's actually a lot closer. Weeha's only 8 within, but this is when MSS might be looking to, you know, do some more bloodshed at this point, so... Picks up the bounty rune at the top, makes his business back towards this mid lane, and uh, I guess we'll just push up in the XP department in the meantime. Uh, TC is being scouted right now by the by the Hawk. Misery is close. Uh, if Misery was level 6, it would make things uh, a bit easier here and being able to get some extra pickoffs, but he's going to need to find a place to find some XP. Is, um, right now, the Doom is actually level 6. Now, we might see if he buys a smoke and goes for a smoke gank himself again. But you already see uh, Dyer pinged out Doom. They're like, he's running back. Watch out. He's level 6. Mike gank. Yeah. And that's just a good call out by DC already. We'll see if Matt can somehow find uh, a place to make a jump and be able to go for the Doom play or not. Uh, but you can expect DC now to be playing a bit more on edge. Or, as I say that, they're going to go for their own smoke play here. Grant Resolution with call down ready to go. And Misery, you know, may not be level 6, but with a successful smoke gank he will be. Oh, yeah, and all, all Bane has to do, run up, sleep. Sunstrike's going to get thrown out, call down probably at the exact same time, and that's a lot of damage you're taking. We'll see here. They're still looking around. Misery kind of scouting out the side camp here. Attack. They're looking for someone to come back into this mid lane. It's going to be MSS. Will they have enough lockdown to put him in his Radiant's place? They're going to go for Misery. Leads him with a sleep. Mad's here now. They get the Hex and the Doom for Resolution. This could be a great turnaround for Shazam if they can get the finish. Saxa trying to get close enough for the Cold Embrace. Can't get there. Instead, we'll have to settle for oh. the ulti. Jason, man, he's getting absolutely manhandled there from his own partner, Mad, and then the Sunstrike will finish him off. And it turns into a one-for-one -one trade. Still, even losing Jason, it's Radiant's a better trade for Shazam. That's yeah, a big trade. Uh, that was perfect Sunstrike, though, from Weeha. I'm doing it right after the Winter Wyvern ult ends. 
And yeah, that was the gank they're looking for. You saw it. He went in for the sleep, but Mad was just right there and dooms the gyro. So gyro is pretty much just useless. Convenience. And now Brax. Brax is finally getting a little bit. He is found level five and a half, and wow. he, he hasn't been he hasn't been pressured. He's looking for those drums. And I mean, Nature's Prout's one of those heroes that can catch up. Your old farms, you can TP around the map, pick up some kills. He's not out of it. That was definitely the roughest start we've seen, but he's already catching up a little. Yeah, I would agree. Definitely one of the more difficult starts we've seen from Brax, but we'll see if he can recover or not. And you already mentioned multiple ways that he could do so here. And TC, another one who's going to need some recovery. He's the lowest in net worth in terms of cores really for this game. Uh, him and Matt are pretty much neck and neck. Uh, but he's still trying to even just get some treads complete. And, you know, at this point, you know, he can't play that greedy game and go for a Midas. He's going to have to find a way and find a, an option to be able to build up some sort of fight. Mid lane, they're looking for a fight. Jason gets off a, a nice little hex here. And MSS will easily be able to clean up the rest of the pieces with a nice little shock room and, well, timber chain through. Mystery puts him to sleep, but can't really do anything about it. Well, bottom lane, make a go for Moo. Moo going to be sprouted up. Now going to get netted down. TC shows up, gets him with the pounce, and... Now they get two kills across the board. This is really nice for Shazam. And uh, there we go. Brax TP's down, get, gets involved in the fight. He's now almost level seven. They just get a, a free dual kill. And this is Shazam just looks crispy in their movements. That, that was just perfect trades on both sides. They're going to lose top tower, but uh, they're fine with that. Yeah, Resolution is still Radiant's farming. He is still getting fallen. pretty big, but for MSS to be able to participate in these kills and find farm for himself, it does etch him ahead quite a bit. Plus, this Timber Saw is going to be able to peak, you know, a bit sooner, maybe along with the, the Gyrocopter, but he's definitely uh, the one Radiant's to fear right now. Yeah, he got a point booster. Looks like he'll be going right for that Bloodstone. We already mentioned last time, but, you know, these new buffs to the Bloodstone, getting the extra charges, makes it pretty nice for someone like a Timber Saw here, so... We'll see. Yeah, I imagine MSS, he's going to want to add more charges faster. What would you say, like, you seen him get, like, 40 in one Four, game? Was that... It was either MSS or Flea, but it was one of those... Yeah, some, one of them had 42 timber... That I mean, uh, bloodstone charges. That's just, to me, I don't even know how that happens. That's insane. Uh, to do that against a team like DC would be very impressive. And so. he, I mean, he's well on his way. 4-0-2, soul booster 12 minutes. He keeps missing trees and cutting himself, but he, he's moving. And look at that, he just defense pushes himself so well. Yep, great at being able to spam out these waves and just kind of force the pushes back a bit. And when you got a heavy push team like what DC have, it's going to be nice to have that kind of utility there. And, uh, well, DC, though, will try to round the corner. They have Moo with the roar ready to go. He dishes out the Hawk here, got both of them. And we'll uh, scope out their vision right now if I can hit the right button. And he'll see the approach here. They can play this nicely, but Mad shows up, and uh, he can't commit the Doom yet. Now we'll go for it before Moo's going to be able to get off the roar. But nice stop play there from Saxa. Gets out the ultimate, and we'll lock them in place. And that might be enough space, or will it? MSS is going to be able to get in with a Timber Chain and Whirling Death down. The rest of Moo uh, will be put to sleep, though, for Misery. They make their hustle trying to get the Winter Wyvern, while MSS and Jason both make a go for Misery. No finger yet, but he will sap the hell of that mana if possible. And there we go. MSS jumps in, but Misery gets off a Fiend's Grip here, just delaying the death. Gets off a Sap. He's actually good. Resolution shows up. Gets a swift kill on Jason. Now looking to clean up MSS. This could be a wonderful turnaround for Digital Chaos if they can do it. And it looks like they can. They got the sleep. MSS not even going to be able to take down Misery. It's a double kill for Resolution. While mid lane... See, the back end of Shazam and a Sunstrike will unfortunately miss its mark. A two-for-two two trade, it looks like, unless this fight recap is outdated. But, nope, it does look like a one for DC on this. Yeah, two-for-two, two and they get... Well, both teams actually get the mid-tower. Brax gets middle tower, and so does Weehan. God, that was such a good grip by Misery. Like, just knowing that Jason just uses Voodoo and his stun, he just ults him, and then Jason gets caught up from behind by the gyro and gets handled, and... That slows down. Luckily, I believe MSS did buy out. He bought that Soul Rain TP. But, yeah, it's, that's a huge... That, that's definitely a win for DC. And now we'll, we'll see uh, if DC are going to be looking to do something on the back of this momentum or not. Uh, in the meantime, we will work with a little bit of a stack here. He's got his drums and Midas good to go. And, yeah, Misery is just kind of moving forward on all cylinders. Doesn't have the feeds grip at the ready yet. Still needs 20 seconds there, but... Uh, it looks like they're going to be posturing up for, I don't know, possibly a Roche. 
you know, they have book two, almost a book three. If, I mean, if they kill this, you know, they're just gonna go for the Roche, get it. They'll have a book three after this, and oh my, a book three plus an ultimate from Resolution. They have, they can just, doesn't even feel like they're that far ahead. They, only 2,000 gold, but. Can they get it I in time? It's heroes. close, it looks like they will. They'll take it down, and it's was almost close enough for Shazam where they were gonna be stuck in that yellow red light situation, Grant, where it's like, you're already in, you gotta go for it, and. Luckily, they were not close enough, but it's still a big win for DC. They get their extra life, and uh, now they're really they can control all the momentum of this game. Shazam are gonna just gonna have to really duck and dodge Dyer's here. It's uh, gonna be a hard attack. team fight as long as DC do have this Aegis. But, oh, look at top TC's pulling creeps. Brax is trying to kill the tower, but. I think Shazam knows there's probably about to be five heroes up here. Maybe not, though. They see Weeha pushing mid, and they see... Resolution on bottom there. He does have a TP, but that tower is already down. And it looks like DCR just going to be letting it go. But, yeah, you're right. I mean, there might have been a window there for Shazam to kind of make that jump. But uh, DC did have good defensive positioning and pulled off. And we actually, after, right before that Roche and out, we saw actually Radiance fucking Mad picked up the Crimson Guard, so it, it'd actually be a little bit tougher than I said to just run at him with that Crimson Guard up. The Gyro will be doing way less damage. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm surprised we haven't seen a full-fledged team fight yet besides Whoop, that last one. They're trying to cut off Wii here. Brax shows up, TP's right into the trees, does the sprout. And now MSS and Mad trying to get close enough, but what an ice wall coming out from Wii. That one ice wall. Keeps them all back and stops the gank. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was that was nice. And that was only an ages too. If they would have gotten, they would have had to been careful. It might not have been a turnaround, but and we uh, remember when he first came into the scene. You know, just getting in. You know, playing some pubs and playing meepos. Yeah, playing meepos, playing FPL Europe, and yeah, now he's winning you know, majors, refreshing, moving the games to America. And, yeah. Oh, it's not, hey, sometimes you just gotta refresh. I, I know all that is. He's sometimes refreshed. you just hit F5 on like a good song. Like, you're on YouTube, you can't click the back button, you're just like, I'm going to refresh this song. Yep. Yeah, I feel you there. Yeah, well, he's got a, you know, they have a, a refresh for DC, I guess you could say. So. That, yeah, that's definitely true. You're, you're memeing hard, but you're being truthful. That is, an honest meme is hard to come by. Give me that. <laughs> Too many unhonest. Uh, yeah, I, I can't respect the unhonest. Yeah, the unhonest ones, I just, I don't know, I just don't feel, feel right about him. And Fair we see... Enough. Is Teal just go, saying, let's go to the jungle? Looks like he is. That's their Frenchman. And they're uh, going. Mad. A recent import here, and we'll see if they're going to be able to kind of lead it off. He's got the Crimson Guard good to go, but there are no targets here. Oh, there's targets now. Middle-ish. The top lane also. Potential skirmish for TC, though. He will be able to pounce away. And you can see on the map the remaining members of Shazam, like, looking over to TC. <laughs> they're just like, are you okay, Chill. dude? Okay. <laughs> but then they didn't go for mid lane is the problem, so... I mean, Mad was well, running up there. Mad's not going to be a mid lane now. Mad was running up to the top lane. Now Mad's coming back. They're not going to have the Doom here for resolution, but they do have the finger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's still alive. Can they get the finish? They certainly can. MSS will timber chain his way through to take down the gyrocopter. TC does show up from that top lane, gets the finish, slicing down Misery here. And Shazam will take their two-man pick as the rest of DC will retreat. Yep, DC did take a tier 2 top, but another good fight, man. That ult by Winter Wyvern, got it. it. kept that gyro alive for so much longer, even with the, uh, the Chakram just buzzing on him. Good survivability, but Shazam still kind of holding the momentum here. And this will be a secured tier 2. And look at that tier 3 taking damage top, though. That's almost, that's almost 300 unanswered damage. That's unfortunate. Oh, will this last hit or uphill? No, nope, gets it. 23 damage. So this is going to be a huge rat factor now. <laughs> yeah, it really <laughs> is. Especially. Have to worry about. Yeah, it is. Beastmaster. Well, no, Beastmaster and Invoker. Both those heroes can solo push. I mean, not as well, obviously, as a Farm Nature's Prophet. But you throw double boar book three without even your hero, and I mean that tier three could just drop. Or Invoker, Alacrity on a Forge Spirit, and well, there you go. Uh oh, TC. He's going to see Moo. Can he do something about it? Uh, it looks like he'll just go up the other way and continue his own farming pattern. While Moo does his work here, Moo already has his book three done, but you know what would fit nicely with it is probably a Blink Dagger, maybe? Oh, yeah, I think it'll probably be Blink Dagger, Boots of Travel for that, that split push factor we talked about, but yep. definitely a Blink first. And with that kind of heads-up setup, who oh, they actually just dropped a sentry. They'll use the boars to play it safe and D-Ward. And obviously Shazam are going to kind of get the idea that their sentry just went down and that puts Brax now into the side lane and 
Looks like they'll just kind of change course here, so. MSS at 14 charges for his timber. Still holds 2,000 gold. I haven't seen him pick up anything else. He got to this bloodstone pretty fast, but we'll have to see yes, what he I, decides to follow it up with. I think he goes Blink. I think that's a pretty MSS thing. He loves the mobility of Blink, but maybe versus Bane, and uh, I think he's still going to go Blink, Blink, even though it's it's pretty rough for a lineup DC has. You want the movement, though. Oh, and top. Oh, the Hawks get it. They know there's a Hawk, but he's just going to go on Misery, it looks like. He gets the pounce. There's the pack. Jason's there. Stunned, but Jason will get hit up with the ulti. It's not close enough to TC, though, to be able to lock him in. TC will be good. Jason, however, will not. He'll end up going down. A support piece will be traded. MSS cold snaps and locked down. He can't even get close enough to get anything off. Finally, we'll get in there with the chakra. Rolls forward, and Shazam will be able to clear out another two. They make it a three for one trade, and Resolution says, I'm coming to play now. Drops the call down. We'll be able to get the swift kill on the MSS. He will be back in five seconds because of the Bloodstone. And now Resolution wants more. He's rolling for TC, eating a full rocket barrage. Resolution gets the double. He ain't done yet. He's moving in now, looking to go for Brax, but there's MSS back from the dead. And that will force Resolution to stay back. What a heated fight up here. And they want more move. Also looking to run. Good blink sidestep. MSS can't catch him with that timber chain, so no damage was taken. But MSS is a man who can chase. Oh. And now Misery shows up, gets the Fiend's grip, locks him down, and that's two kills on MSS. A serious hit to the charges on his bloodstone, cutting him right in half, and Resolution gets to walk away all with a killing spree. Damn. Oh my, I think we were both about to call, we're like, oh man, Shazam just won a huge team yep. fight, and then Resolution from the back, just pow pow, blap, like a comic book, and they just got a triple kill out of nothing. That looked like such a good team fight from Shazam, but Resolution that just does That was crazy. Thing. And I, it's really just like was. where the camera was, it's like he just came out of nowhere. He's just like, hey, good fight, everyone. Mind if I just kill everybody? Oh, top lane Resolution's getting gone on again. Hex, stun, right clicks are coming out, but they don't have enough Up burst. Down. With Jason not committing the finger, and it's only level one, Soxa steps in, gets off the, the ulti here. Slept now, MSS, will they get him again for a third time? It looks like they're trying to finish off Brax, they'll get that one. MSS though, it looks like he'll have to timber chain away to make it to safety. Jason, he's dead. They, they put him to sleep to save him for a treat later. And then we'll finally gobble up their little dessert, but they still want more. Mad trying to help out, gets off the Crimson Guard, and MSS will be able to timber chain to the high ground. But look at this, DC, they ain't done. They said this is our parade, and they just roll right up and into the base. While they have this advantage, while MP's down, while Jason's also out, and they'll just try to take a tier three. That's pretty much what we said with the Beastmaster Invoker. Like, you literally kill one hero. It's just Jason and Brax down, and your base is gone. And it, it's actually just gone. Still trying to make a fight, though. Mad, stuck in an ice wall. He gets close enough to get the Doom off on Moo, who doesn't even have his... Uh, stun up yet, and Mad will lose his own life for it. He gets Fiend's gripped and locked down. Jason's back now. He's trying his best with Brax, both of them. MSS and TC looking to go for the backliners here. Oh, Resolution so low. Go for the TP, and he taunts as well, but they get him. Oh, serves them right. He will get dropped. Weeha, though, will make it under the cover of the Ghost Walk. Shazam still do take a hard hit, and they also lose a melee Rax in addition to that Tier 3. Yeah, that was... I mean, DC will take, they're like, oh, free melee racks? Okay, they do lose resolution, and man, oh, he went, he went for it. He's like, let's just give him with the old Tanaruni, and mad, he just, he went up and doomed Moo, and then died. Not sure if that was the play. Definitely felt, uh, didn't even feel like hectic. It just, it didn't feel yeah, like it was, was working really at all there for Shazam. Yeah. I, I should say one thing, I noticed like in that top fight, especially at the beginning before Shazam started losing it, the Crimson Guard on Timbersaw, he was literally taking zero damage for like 10 seconds. It was it was pretty crazy, and we saw it again when, when he just lived at top before the tier two. So Crimson Guard and Timbersaw is pretty insane. It is really nice, my god. They had such trouble being able to get that finish. Bottom lane though, looking to go for Brax. Misery, ooh, hit the arms were being raised. They both forced, but Misery has that haste rune. He's able to finally catch up and put him to sleep, but that will be the end of it. He's like, I got you though. I got you with that sleep. TP's away. And he did indeed get. Oh, they're converging. Oh no, and they're going for And I think Roche. they saw TC with that sentry too. Oh no, TC could be in a lot of trouble here. He just oh, walks no. on in there. What are you guys doing, Roche? Well, they were, and then they all left, and they'll be able to reposition here. And now we're going to see a lot of tension around this Roche pit for sure, because both of these teams do have Roche potential, and 
I don't know. I think you still would give the nod to DC, though. They got the extra bit of vision. They got the extra bit of team fight. The roar set up at the choke point. The wyvern ulti. In fact, they're just going to smoke. They're going to look for a fight, and they can win this one. They'll take Roche, and then they'll make a push for the base and try to end game two. Yeah, and well, here we go. Who does the Hawk spot out? Oh, TC and he does not quite have the quick enough finger for that. Dark. I don't know if the Dark Pack would have even saved him, though. Yeah, he was just absolutely crushed. Uh, the vision advantage there already coming out. Mad oh, tries man. to hide in the trees. He knows he's done for. They'll even give him the Fiend's Grip. I don't even know if that would have been necessary, but I guess to save someone from being doomed and having to go back and heal, why not? So they get that kill. Two of them go down. Two cores at that. DC will reset. Get this bottom lane push right back out. Get to the Roche pit. Take that Aegis and then try to go for the closure in game two. Yeah, and this game feels like it's... DC doesn't even feel like it's... It feels... I, I actually just said it feels and I didn't say how it feels at all, but... It feels. I mean, that's it all feels, you really I mean, need to DC say sometimes. DC can just push their base. It doesn't even... Shazam has a chance to win these team fights, but DC just has that little extra 1% every time that wins it. Resolution running in from the back, just perfect roar hawk smokes by Moo, and that's about all you need. Now we are almost stuck in what feels like a similar position from where we were in, in game number one where it's on Shazam. They'll take what farm is available on the map before the inevitable push will be coming from DC, but this time they don't have a Dark Seer. They don't have that Wombo Combo Factor. They have Wave Clear from MSS, but outside of that, I think that their high ground defense is not even as going to be as good as the potential they had in Game One. And they go for Weeha middle, but no, no vision. That's always going to hurt you. And look, they're just pushing bottom with double boar right now. They're like Shazam. You know we're winning right now. You're gonna have to react to us. We're not gonna react to your your split pushing middle. Well, Mad doesn't have a TP, so they have a smoke, and he will smoke Radiant's and maybe try to go for a flank attack. setup here. But the rest of the team is not even ready to go yet. Misery confidently charging up into the base while Resolution will tank the tower. He's the Aegis holder after all. And now with an alacrity, man, that tower just gets demolished. But here comes Madden Company under that smoke. They're rolling for Saksa, and he got that doom off, but all of them just freaking dead. They mopped the floor. Resolution. That boy going to work. And uh, that is going to force a buyback now out from, from Mr. Fun. Madden will be not participating in this last hurrah. Weeha gets the cleanup, sniping down TC, but we watch Resolution now. Locked under the Sprout, changes course, he'll just go for the Rax Radiant's instead, and that is going to be the third Rax to hit the deck for Shazam. They already lost that melee Rax at the top lane, and they didn't even have to you know, use too much for it. Still hold the Aegis here. Oh, MSS though. Nice snipe. Takes down Saxa here. Will he pay for his life? Gets put to sleep, and now it turns into a three on two for Shazam. Resolution gets off a rocket barrage. They're going to kite him around a bit. MSS will be able to take care of Misery. That's a double kill for him and more charges into his Bloodstone here. And now Resolution looking to make a run, but MSS does jump in. Gets off a nice little Whirling Death, but will not be able to get the Aegis down. And now a jump oh, no, in Jason. Wii. And no, poor Jason gets hit up for that Tornado. Does he have a Dust now? No, no detection still. Oh, nope, they have a Sentry. It did drop down. That comes out. Yeah, and uh, Weeha will be potentially taken down here. And he is dead. MSS will get the last hit, dominating. 12 charges on his Bloodstone. Well, that was a that was pretty, triple kill. That was pretty forgiving for DC to, you know, as they walk out, Shazam, as you mentioned, they get a triple kill. He's right, and T, uh, MSS gets them all. They, they did lose a whole rack. It almost feels like they didn't. That was so long ago, but lost a whole set of rags bottom, and but they delayed a little. Weeha dies twice there, I believe. So he, he gives away quite a bit of net worth. We see MSS had a lot of gold. 4K, what do you end up buying? Does he have some on chicken? Oh, he, like, he buys uh, a full Aghanims. He didn't even go for that, like, fifth item last time he played. He he went for it straight this game, though. I mean, I, maybe it's because he's, like, the only one in that, you know, outspam department. Now double Chakram will help keep this push back. When you're dealing with the Beastmaster, the Forge Spirits, uh, the Wyvern push capabilities, the Gyrocopter push, like, maybe they just need that double Chakram to, to really kind of relieve the pressure here. Yeah, and one, one thing I did notice that last fight, uh, they slept MSS when he went in and killed the Wyvern, but the Seder from the neutral camp actually uh, Hadoukened him and woke him up. It was actually kind of funny, because there's three people around, he's like, hey, why are you guys in my jungle? It actually might have helped him get those kills, it's kind of funny. He'll be able to take down a tier 2, DC, looking to make the most out of this final hurrah of the Aegis. Will Shazam be able to do something about it? This is where that Agnims comes into play. MSS will be able to quickly get rid of the creep wave. 
Uh, but the backdoor protection is uh, not on, so that means this tier 3 is going to be taking some hits. And uh, it's on Shazam. They're getting some split pressure from Brax in the top lane before he does participate in this final hurrah here, but that's tier 3 down, and they're going to have to do some about it. Let's see what they do. Jump in. Extra resolution. There's the Sprout. They're trying to stall it out for the Aegis as much as they can, but TC will decide to go in. Focus fires resolution while wow. they do get a good cleanup onto Wii. Done by MSS. Misery, though. Gonna get him with the Fiend's Grip. TC jumps in, tries to stop Misery, though. He gets off the Brain Sap here, and Moo chases him. But Mad will be able to step in. Wii shows back up with the buyback. Gets the finish. Helps clean up. DC looking for the close out here. Mad trying to run away. Has no more mana. Set to go down while Jason running for his life, hiding in the trees. We'll make it away from Resolution because he's got bigger things on the plate. He's looking to go for the throne. He's looking to go to close this game out. And uh, this is it for Shazam. They pull out their final buybacks as the racks are getting hit up here. Resolution, no more Aegis. So he's got to run. Pulls back Misery, self-sleep to keep alive. TC getting hit pretty hard here. There goes the call down. They're going to get him. He has to buy back. MSS moves in, gets hit up with an ulti. Coming out from Saxa. Mad will hit him a bit, but it's not going to be nearly enough damage. He soaks it up well. And now DC looking to reposition. They pull off. Saxa is able to kind of make it out from trouble. Well, MSS sweeps on through, gets Misery down, and the rest of DC fully disengage. While Shazam can pull off. A little bit of a hold. It does cost them a lot and a lot of buybacks here. And uh, look at that. They'll still be able to catch up and take down the Wyvern too. So now what can Shazam do with it? They're on their final legs here with their only buybacks already expended. Yeah, and we see that was actually... They do so... Like, MSS does so much damage. So we saw him kill Weeha like immediately at the beginning of the team fight. Weeha bought back and ran rough shot on him all. But MSS still has the damage. I mean, this game isn't over. I think it's actually a little bit closer than the last one just because of how much damage MSS is putting out. But the problem is Slark is a little bit underfarmed. Same with Nature's Prophet. It's pretty much MSS pumping out all the damage right now, along with the Doom. And it's it's fair and okay here. You know, the, the Agnums helps out with that burst, that's for sure. But uh, I feel like it's all in due time because what happens when DC just do that again? <laughs> this time with no buybacks. Exactly. Yeah, it, it could be hard. Let's see if Shazam can withstand round number two because it's on the way here. Look at this mid lane push right now. And uh, yeah, MSS here we go. get the Chakrams out fast. Trying to slow this wave down. But DC are looking to go for the final blow. Some of the creeps. Oh, look at him. Look at him clear him out. Dang. It's nice. But there's still no back row protection for a little bit. They're going to take advantage of this little window while they can. Even the creeps. Look at how much work they do. My god. They are going to make the it's jump. Mad looking to get in there. Can't get off the Doom. He gets hit up with Aurora. Meatball falls. And Doom is out. 70 seconds buyback. No Doom going to be available for this fight. MSS just gets blown up. He's out. 50 seconds. No buyback. They all crumble to the ground. DC have done it. Round two is a 10 second knockout. Game two is for them. And now they're just one game away from punching their ticket to Shanghai for the Nan Yang Land. And that game, I know it actually ended quicker, but it felt like Shazam had a little bit better chance that game. And I mean, MSS's Timber played really well. Well, the problem is he didn't really, I mean, you see the levels, the farm. He didn't really have much backup helping him out. Slark just felt like we, we said at the beginning after it got picked. There just really wasn't anything you could pick into DC's lineup that would scare him, and I, I guess that just goes to say misery with re really good captaining. Yep, and we'll see, man. One more, and they're going to Shanghai. Shazam, we rarely see them in these kind of situations where they're down one game, now down two games, and I, I've never seen a situation where Shazam's like the kind of team that can take three straight wins, but now would be a good time to do it, Shazam. Let's see if they can. Otherwise, DC are going to get this trip. We'll cut to a break. I'm Coddle Guy. That's Grand Grant. When we return, it's going to be game three of the Nunyoung American qualifier final. That's a lot of words. We'll see you soon.